And it's welcome back to another episode of Questland on my Tactical Cuke YouTube channel. Um, I got a few tasks to do real quick. And, uh, yeah, this fiasco with uh, Will Smith hasn't faded out, hasn't fizzled out yet. Uh, news feed is still flooded with articles and posts pertaining to that. It really was disgusting. And I don't, so I want to, I already know. See, I don't subscribe to Red Pill's philosophy. This is really like the internet, um, the male internet uh perspective of um you know romance dating and relationships um let me tell you something like i just know that the red pill people these these guys who complain about relationships are like eating this up like they probably making a whole bunch of videos about it right now and I explored some of that. I explored um, red pill when I was in a dark situation in my life. Um, I dabbled in that hard. And I'm going to tell you exactly what situation I was in. Um, it was a, a school of hard knocks moment. Um not going to say the company's name, but I was a ride share driver and one of my riders was a, was a woman and she asked to go back to my place. And I was like, okay, let's go. Big mistake because it was a setup. She had she she told people she told Uber and the police that I kidnapped her and all of that stuff. And they do have evil women out there that will do stuff like that to you. And also I was off put. Now, I'm a person of color. um, But I think people who were not people of color um, think the same thing about the situation that happened with uh uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, my deal is, I could, and the thing is, he was not. Um, the thing is, um. That situation, coupled with an experience that I had of my own, and I wound up getting deactivated from that platform, which is a big platform. So that owns all all types of apps. So it's a lot of things that I can't do because this girl lied on me. Um. Yeah, she lied and said, uh. I kidnapped her, but it's like, it was like where I was staying at was an apartment complex and everybody pretty much was seeing, even my next door neighbor saw me brought this, bring this girl and she walked, she, she, you know, voluntarily walked into my house and everything. So whatever. And, and I'm going to tell you straight up. I think I didn't do anything with the girl. I feel like if I had done anything, if I had done, because my thing is, she said she wanted to go home with me. Um, I'm thinking, hey, maybe something like that might happen. You understand? But if it didn't happen, I would have been cool with that. You know what I mean? I'm not a rapist. It, it, I think that's pretty much how any guy would be. Like, if, if you ask me today, um. And these days, you may as well say I didn't learn my lesson because I still, you know, 
talk to women like if if I have a job or I'm doing professional, I have to talk to the women like I'm going to talk to a woman like she's a woman. Like if I see a good looking woman, I'm going to talk to her like what she is. You're not. You can't tell me that me talking to a woman, a woman like what she is, that's disrespect. No, it's respectful. And if you don't like it, if you don't like me talking to you like what you are, then your problem. I'm not the one with the problem. It's you who think this person, particular person is too good for me to be talking to like that. Okay, so. The lesson was not learned, whatever lesson they was trying to teach us. And that was bad. That was bad. Just like this situation with, with, with Will Smith. It was bad. What happened to Bill Cosby, you know, started a, re- a chain reaction. You know, women thought women see where they could do something in it. They could become famous and become the center of attention and become popping on Instagram or whatever without being beautiful or or um, or uh, um, contributing something of value. You understand? And then on top of that, it's a double thing, because if you say somebody raped you, then that's like you saying you were so attractive that the guy couldn't help himself. And then he raped you. You understand? Like I said, I've never been in that situation if and I think most men, the majority of men, they, they have. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And the, the Bible actually says this. A, a woman could be had for a, a loaf of bread. OK, it's not hard to get set. Women, you know, young dudes, you know, who shield it because us a lot of young people on the Internet who shield it from that by their parents and you know, their parents basically make it so that it's hard for them to uh, do things or they live with their parents and their parents always cock blocking them like parents do. Um, And so they think that getting sex is hard, but it's not difficult. It's very easy. It's much easier to get sex the regular way than to rape somebody, a woman. Okay. First of all, all she got to do is close her legs, you know, really in end of story. All she got to do is close her legs. So if there was no rape weapon involved, if she was not bruised or, you know, damaged or something, then I'm already going to be skeptical because hmm, you, you have to show me that he took it by force. You understand a, a rape. He, you have to prove that he had a weapon to for to me to sway me that he put a weapon on you, and and me if I was getting raped, I'd rather just get shot. I'd rather just get killed than let somebody rape me. So, hmm. But so a lot of people not like that. And during times of war, that's not what happens. That's not what happened. And then on top of that. I would just let the if somebody put a weapon on me and told me they was going to kill me unless unless I let them rape them. I would still let them. I would still be like, no, because they could rape you and then kill you after. So you don't say nothing. So now you listen to them for no reason. When you have an attacker, don't listen to nothing they say. OK, don't listen to nothing. Uh, uh, Somebody break into your house. Don't do what they say. You need to be just trying to look for how you could fuck whatever they up, you know, look, look, look for how you can mess that up. But, yeah, I had my own situation and this is going back to how I got deep into the red pill community because I was justifiably upset with uh, my treatment by a specific woman. But this was one girl. All women are not like this. Uh, one girl, so I shouldn't do a blanket. Um, you know, I shouldn't be upset with all women because of what this, but at the same time, I'm not going to forget what happened and I'm going to keep in mind the capabilities of women. But at the same time, it's like the birds and the bees, like bees, 
women are like bees and bees are just going to sting you. That's just what they do. You know, you, you speak in the women, you, you dealing with women and talking with women that you're going to get hurt. So I think it, so when I was deep in the, to the red pill, I posted something and like women, people like to say, dang, who hurt you? I'm like, well, first of all, you know what I mean? That's just what women do. You understand it? when you when you first approach my current girl that I deal with seriously right now actually no not that uh uh but the girl that I dealt with before her um and I eventually wound up dealing with her seriously when I first approached her she, like she was very rude to me okay and some the girl that I'm with now, sometimes she does things th- that's hurtful. Sometimes she lashes out. She's having a bad day and she does something uh, that I don't particularly care for. That, that's not nice. And that's just how women are. So it's like you ask me who hurt you. I said my response to that was everybody. Everybody hurt me. Cause that's so stupid. Like, of course, uh, a woman did something that I didn't like. So you, you make an assumption that women typically don't do stuff that you don't like, man, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. But, um, this is not an endorsement of red pill philosophy. Uh, spiritually, a lot of things that they teach, pretty much everything they teach is the opposite of reality. Um, you know, I don't believe in alpha anomy, you know, this wolf pack stuff. Uh, scientists actually went back and discovered that a wolf pack is actually just a family unit, just a bunch of wolves that tend to be related, traveling together. You know, it's not like these are unrelated wolves and then they organize based on genetics like alpha anomy explains it. There's a book. I did read that book. I forgot the name of the title, but I did read it to to really get to the root of what this alpha, I'm alpha male, beta male, like I kept hearing this and I'm like, what exactly does that mean? And I looked into, and then the actual, that was the actual author of the book came out later and said that that's not really how it works. People took that so far, but um, I don't believe in evolution. My worldview, you know, my, my beliefs in, in uh, evolution is a belief. Evolution is a belief. Um, you can't quantifiably prove that. You can't show me. You can't show me a fish turning into a monkey. You can't show me that. You can't show me a a, a fish turning into the elephant. You understand? You can't show me that. According to evolution, everything was first a, a, a aquatic organisms, and then they turned. Nowhere do I see a, you know, fish, I don't see fish turning into things that, that, you know what I mean? And it makes sense. It makes sense from a glance, but it it definitely makes sense. And you could try to piece stuff together, but, uh, at the end of the day, you, you have to look at certain things and be like, um, uh, these, these things could not have happened or come about by pure coincidence. And then my problem with evolution and the philosophy in general is both give you a, an excuse for shortcomings. When things don't go right, you could say, oh, well, you understand, we just got to keep, uh, we, we just got to keep uh, trying things. But it's like, if evolution was so real and it and it um and effective to where you could go from being a tadpole to a human being or or something like that, then I, I forgot where I was going. I really don't like to get into that. I don't know how I got we we got from talking to Will Smith. Uh, to evolution. I know you guys who believe in evolution, who watch this video, I know for a fact, I'm not going to convince you. I'm not going to open your eyes to how foolish 
um, that belief system. Okay, so you attack me for what I, I'm just pointing out that evolution is a belief. It's a belief. You don't have, you don't have just like, I don't have, you don't have proof of evolution that will satisfy somebody who is spiritual to me. That's, that's why I want to put it. Yeah, you have proof, I guess. You know what I mean? You could show something changing a little bit. You could show, show something adapting, you understand, to short term conditions. Uh, but you can't, you know, to me, for me to adopt a mindset or a philosophy, which I don't adopt any adopt any philosophies, especially the red pill philosophy, alpha anomy, evolution. I don't adopt any philosophies. You understand? I. I am a spiritual person. I. See the world through a spiritual lens, I I see things in absolutes. There's no maybes or possiblies or hypotheticallys. If it's not concrete, if it's not absolutely true, then it's false to me. You know, it's either right or it's wrong. You know, and things that you think are gray, I guarantee you, if you go read the Bible or you do some soul searching or some spiritual things, you could you will arrive at a very specific, specific answer on whether or not what you're doing is right, wrong, right or wrong. You either right or wrong. There's no there's no in between. There's no maybe. You understand? So well, there's that. Oh, there's that. But uh, anyway, I'm just trying to dissuade people from going down that path because I did. It's a dark and I know it's it's super relevant. Because I know a lot of people are going to be, you know, converted to red pill people because a lot of these I already know they're going to make these hateful videos. um, And a lot of people going to watch them and be drawn to them. Okay, I'm hurt. By what happened. That was so disappointing. That was so disappointing. Like Irma Gerd. That was so disappointing. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want people to be consumed by this hatred. The reason why I'm doing two videos today is because it seemed like it they because it was raining hard. It was like a little monsoon today. It seems like there's a hurricane every week. It's not even hurricane season. It's not even hurricane season. And it seemed like there's a hurricane every week. Um Yeah. I don't know if you I don't know how seriously you believe in climate change or whatever. I do believe I do believe uh, in climate change. Yeah, I do believe that the weather and everything is changing. I definitely believe that. But I don't believe that it's man made. And I don't think there's anything we could really do about it. Um, Short of just yeet. A whole bunch of people like people. Oh, let's fight climate change. And my thing is, well, the solution to that is probably is to depopulate. So are you how serious how serious you are? You are about that carbon footprint. You're going to eat yourself you're going off yourself to save the earth. Probably not. So shut up and sit down. <laughs> But anyway, how did I get on? Oh, yeah, because that's why I'm I'm explaining why I'm doing two videos today. Um, Yeah, so I t- took the day off. I went ahead on and cooked. Cooked me some red beans and rice with sausage. Mm-hmm. I'm just doing a... I need to do this campaign. Why I can't smell? Okay. 
And I guess the multi smelt is not working. Let's see. Got the blue items. Oh, I can't. Do we need more craft tokens? I'm not going to make no more craft tokens. I'm just going to melt them down. Four, five, six. I think there's six spots. Yeah, six. Got 21.6K Eternium. Let's see. Autofill options. Let's see. Can I put the purple? But yeah, I don't, don't, don't be taken captive by these philosophies. I'm warning you guys, cause I know these red pill people and really you do have to go through that phase. You do have to be inter introduced to the harsh truths and realities. Hopefully I can introduce them to you in this video. Women are like bees. Okay. They will sting you. They will do mean things. They will put your life in danger. You understand? Because just off of whims, just off of fragile, you know what I mean? A bee will sting you for seemingly no reason. That's what I, that's how women are. And you can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, go kill yourself or slap a major political major you know celebrities on the stage of an oscar that's so ghetto that's why they wouldn't give us that's why they wouldn't give the the the, the community no oscars cuz they knew we wouldn't go, we was going to do some stuff like that don't know how to act that's why we can't have nice things <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, don't do that. Don't let women get you all worked up. Definitely don't kill yourself over a woman and don't ruin your whole life in, in, in Will Smith's situation. I'm recommending a divorce. He needs to divorce her. He, he been needed to divorce her. You understand they claiming it's an open man. No. Ain't no man okay with some other dude uh, messing with his wife. They have an open relationship because he probably got caught, uh, you know, having sex with another woman. And he never discussed that with the women. I discussed that. I tell the women that I deal with straight up, look, you don't even worry about me dealing with another woman. I'm about you. Okay, I'm a. Be there for you, regardless of what other woman might come. So don't even don't worry about. And really, this is all women are worried about. They worried about being replaced. Like you're going to go get another girl. And you know, what I mean. Now, nah, she not taken care of, you know, what I mean, I pers I believe in polygyny, I believe the natural way is one man and as many wives as that man can provide for. That is the natural way. That's the way it's been since before. Uh, that's the way the civilized world has been for the majority of existence. You just got as many. It was a man and he, you know, he got the women he wanted. You know, if you defeat a tribe, you know what I mean? You see a fine woman, you understand? You don't kill the that you would like to do stuff with. You don't kill the fine female. You keep that fine female and kill the. That's just what it is. It sounds barbaric, but that's history. That's how things were. Okay, and this is a grown up. My channel is not for for kids, so I'm. And, and you need to learn. You need to know stuff like that. You need to be introduced to the harsh truths and realities by somebody who is on the right side of things. Um, yeah. By somebody who has your best interest in the heart, not by an internet troll who is miserable and wants you to be miserable too. I'm not miserable. You understand? Even when things, 
I, I post on here when I get when I got my bike stolen. Even when things go wrong, I'm still hold it together. I'm still when I I'm I'm all when I'm when I'm good, I'm good. When I'm not good, I'm still good. You know what I mean? So and I want people to be like that. You know, don't give up on life. And don't think the things that you're going through are unique to you. It's something, you know, you obey a male, your your genetics uh, are the reason why you can't get women. No. Don't read into that. Don't become captive. Don't try to put yourself into one of them modes, alpha male or beta male. Don't do it. That stuff is not real. Um, you're going to get out of life what you put into it, uh, regardless of your genetics. Okay. So, um, yeah, don't become ca captive about that. Don't don't uh, become captive to those philosophies. Um during the elections of 2016, I was looking for answers. And that was during a critical time in my life. Um, I was a sophomore in college, I believe, in 2016. No, I was a junior. Yeah, I was a junior. I was a junior in college. I was in my third year in college. Um, coming up to that, uh, yeah, that was in my third year. Energy stew. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get as far as I can, and then I'm gonna go do those quests. But yeah, I was I was looking I was looking for the big answers to the big questions and I entertained a lot of philosophies. You know, I was exploring Democrats and Republicans and all of that and studying economics and you know the history of race and class in this country and worldwide. So I was looking for answers. But that's not when I got into when I really, really became captive by red pill philosophy. That was not that long ago. That was like in that happened in what? 2018. All that shit went down. I think it all that went down. In either 2018 or 2019. Yeah, 2018 or 2019. Um, either this is hard or my new build sucks. I would hate for this new build to suck because I spent all those little souls on these to get them high level. I mean, he's hitting hard, but as you just saw, I'm losing some of these battles. Dang. Yeah, that might definitely hitting hard. Wow. How did you one shot me? Yeah, I think I just got crit. I think you just got lucky and at me yeah man if I lose this time then I'm gonna go ahead on and do that quest try to get them jesters hats
Yeah, they ignoring shield. That's probably the issue because they doing these magic attacks that's ignoring shield. Boy, that ice attack don't play. All right. Yeah, I think we only got uh, one, two, three, four, four more places. Or looking for the jester box. I got to see where to get the jester box from. Jester box. Journey list in Harbor. Jungle stage. Okay. So it's in the jungle. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do the loot token. And I guess I could reset because I do need to spend those. Uh, oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, my God. Multi smelt. Nothing with the multipliers. And once I awaken some more gear, I get rid of a lot of these legendaries because I have been piling up legendaries. How about this? I'm going to see if I can expand my inventory. Add five more slots for 55 gems, 65, 80, 90. Yeah, we just going to have to expand the crud out of this. Yeah. Then another reason why I don't like the red pill philosophy, because it's it's sub consciously tells men that the way that you uh, you increase your status by destroying other people's status when that's not the reality spiritually the meek the meek inherit the work the, the earth so these people being douchebags they're going to kill each other and then the guys who who was just doing their thing are going to rise to the top probably be probably with minimal effort too <laughs> and that's how things work that's how things really work understand it really is a jungle but The best way to survive in the jungle is not by going and fighting everything. And you can reap the benefits of so-called alpha males. Uh, by just hanging in there. Like. Just keep moving. And you're going to you're going to find your your happy, your happy place. Yeah, I hope what I shared here was therapeutic, but I want people to know that I'm a Mac. 
okay, I have very little problems getting the women that I want. That's, I got 99 problems and a bitch ain't one. Okay, I have no problem getting women. But even I have to deal with BS sometimes. I'm an alpha. I'm a Chad. According to the red pill community, which I don't subscribe to none of that. I'm a nerd. You know what I mean? But I get results of so-called alphas, of so-called Chads. And I'm telling you, get, you know, woman stung you, you you just got to get over it. And she going to sting you more. You know, even even women that like you, they still going to do stuff, hurtful things to you. You just got to slowly learn how to how to uh, how to manage and be a beekeeper. <laughs> but realize that not, no matter what you do, you still going to get stung from time to time because that's just how women are. They don't, they don't, um, they don't operate like that. Um, and this is not, I'm, this is not coming from a place of hate or bitterness, but they will lash out at you and do things. They don't, they don't function logically. They don't function when, uh, men, men function emotionally too, but we rely on our logic more than emotion. Women, you understand, if they're not feeling good, if they're not feeling it, you understand, they don't care about the logic. Men, if the logic don't line up, then they don't care how it feel. You understand? So they make up things called the, the, the friend zone and all of that stuff. You know what I mean? From a woman's perspective who just worried about feeling stuff. And not about the logic. They're not worried about the fact that you're not getting what you should be getting from that situation. They're not worried about that. They're just worried about what they're feeling. There ain't no in that situation. You know, that's really their fantasy. That's a, a woman's fantasy is to, you know, is to get a man's love and not have to do anything for it. So, I mean, and a man's fantasy is to get a, 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 a man's ultimate fantasy is just to have the validation from women and just get all this sex and everything from women without having to pay, without having to go on dates and all of that stuff. That's the fantasy for men. Both of them just fantasies, you know. Sometimes some some people making that a reality, if only temporarily, until one or both parties opens their eyes and sees what's actually going on. But yeah, I think I'm a no. I don't want to take day cool. I think that day cool will be keeping me up. Yeah, to my daily limit. I'm trying to get this to three stars. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see. Oh, my God. I didn't see it. Oh, I, yeah, I see it now. So I got it to three stars. So I'm going to go ahead on and exhaust that one.
I can select all of these. But yeah, I don't want to say beware red pill community because it did open my eyes to certain things and I don't know I don't think I particularly regret coming across the red pill I just want to you guys to know that that's not a place you want to stay in and that most of that stuff is not true but the, the good positive thing about red pill is it does try to explore the harsh realities of you know both of the genders um but it's it's not good when making with the sol on the solution side of things and uh you know it, it keeps trying to solve uh spiritual problems uh via carnal methods I guess my camera was right there huh I'm looking for something. I don't know what. But yeah. I think that that's going to conclude my video. That's going to conclude my video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video.